You know, Jay Leno uh, had a joke of, uh, a year or two ago, uh, maybe it was more than that now, when the Iraqis were writing their constitution. He said, well, why don't we just give them ours? We're not using it. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it seems funny at first blush until you kind of realize, you know, maybe that's actually a little more accurate than, than I'm comfortable with. I'm a strict constructionist. I believe the Founding Fathers got it right. And I believe that we have the best form of government ever created by man. And I'm going to protect it the way the Founders gave it to us. And you all have been, uh, I assume you're still sitting, I can't quite see, but you all have been uh, sitting here for a few of us speaking, so I don't want to go on forever. I do want to leave you with one thought. Uh, you know, your sheriff was introduced earlier. He's supporting me in this race. I'm honored to have his support along with all of you all. We also have the support of 78 other sheriffs and commonwealth attorneys in Virginia. Uh, law enforcement is behind us in this race. And that's important for you all to remember when you start to see uh, the, uh, the interesting ads, I'll call them interesting, that started running today from my opponent. He does have more money. So you're going to see a little more of him than you are of me. And I'm going to learn all sorts of new things I never knew about myself in the next two weeks in his ads. Um, but when you're talking to folks in church and, you know, your gun club and Rotary and, and at work and uh, everywhere you go between now and two weeks from now, actually it's under two weeks now, it's after 7 o'clock. So we're 13 days and 23 hours and a few minutes till the polls close. So. But who's counting? And uh, I'll tell you, my wife is counting. And, uh, uh, but please let folks know that. And we have the Fraternal Order of Police endorsement, the single most important endorsement in this race. That is a grassroots endorsement. Every member of the FOP voted on that endorsement. And there are 71 lodges, pass those votes on to the state level. We won that in a grassroots vote. And we worked it hard and I have a good record protecting the folks who protect all of us, as well as being tough on crime and handling criminal justice issues far better than my opponent. He keeps messing things up all summer, but we need you to convey that message. We need you to convey that message. And uh, last but not least is sort of the current events in this race. This past summer, in our first debate, my opponent got the death penalty wrong. It's kind of important to get the death penalty right if you want to be Attorney General. Uh, it's just my opinion. but. Uh, a lot of people tend to agree with me. He did that on video for everybody to see. It's on the internet if you want to go see that. And then we had a Supreme Court decision, the Melendez decision, which led to that special session we had this summer. Well, when I asked the governor to call a special session because we were losing drunk driving cases and drug cases, uh, my opponent jumped on me and said that I was pulling a political stunt. We didn't need a special session. And actually, he also said, it'll cost too much money. You know, when you hear a guy who votes for every tax increase tell you something in government's going to cost too much money, red flags should be going up. And red flags were going up for me. Four days later, he wrote me one of these letters. It's addressed to me, but it's really for the Washington Post and the Roanoke Times. And he said, uh, gee, Ken, why didn't you support my thus and such bill in 2007? It would have fixed this problem. And I pulled out the bill and I read it. And I read it again. And he wasn't anywhere near close to right. He was dead wrong on his own bill. This is who wants to be attorney general. His own bill. So that was three errors in about four weeks this past summer on criminal justice issues. And now he was a prosecutor for two years out of law school. To hear him tell it, he's wider. But he, uh, he's, running, he's running a whole race on that, a whole race. So it's important for you all to remember, and please help us get the message out. We are endorsed by the FOP. They don't get on board with people who aren't good on law enforcement issues. You know, you know your sheriff here, and there's a bunch of others like him that are equally committed to keeping their community safe. These are the people that their communities trust with law enforcement, and those folks are on board with us. You know how many my opponents got? 23. 23. We have 22 political independent sheriffs and commonwealth attorneys. We have almost as many independents as he has total. So we have law enforcement behind us in this race. We're right on the issues. He ducked debates for three months because we're right on the issues. 
But we need you all to help us get that message out. I know a lot of you have been doing that. Two more weeks, folks. We can do anything for two more weeks. Think of, think of that founding period and what they were going through to win us the liberty we have today. Nobody here is going to be asked to do anything, anything like they had to do. Any sacrifice, anything like they had to sacrifice. But I don't think anybody today doubts that those founding principles are at stake in these elections. And I'll tell you this, and I promise you, I'm going to work like crazy for two more weeks to do everything I can to make sure that not only does Ken Cuccinelli win and Charles Poindexter win and Ed Creed win, that's going to be a fun one. That's going to be a fun one. But that we sweep in Virginia for the only the second time ever for Republicans. That's, that's the goal on November 3rd. And your contributions here today, like I said, we don't have to match his money, but we got to try and stay competitive. Your contributions here today help enormously. And uh, Virgil, thank you. Uh, my colleague, Senator Hurt, uh, who uh, I sit with on the floor of the Senate and in the Courts Committee, uh, and, and Charles, of course, on, on, in the House of Delegates, uh, thank you all for your support, and thank all the rest of you, sponsors and donors and all, and all of you who have come out here. And let me ask you one last thing, is just for the next two weeks, please keep us in your prayers. Uh, there's a lot that goes on here. I'm putting a lot of miles on. And pray for my wife, who is working a whole lot harder than I am. So, uh, and half of you here know that. Uh, but uh, we have seven kids at home, and she's homeschooling four of them. So uh, I'm just the dean of students, uh, but she's doing the hard work. So please keep us in mind uh, and keep us in your prayers. Thank you all very much. And Bill, thank you for having me.